Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. Today we're gonna check out my new Rise of Skywalker Kylo Ren costume. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here. My name is David and I love Star Wars. Uh, in the past, my past videos, I did a Force Awakens Kylo Ren. And I wanted to be Kylo Ren, specifically I wanted to be the Kylo Ren that, that kids see at Disneyland and Disney World. Because I just thought, that's such a cool character and you get to wear the voice changer and the mask. I'm, you know, my face doesn't have to look like Kylo Ren. And, and here's what happened. So, not only Force Awakens, that costume, it makes me look even shorter than I am. Because <laughs> I'm already short, right? I'm, I'm only 5'6". And so... All that drapery going down to the ground just extended my body. It just made me look short. Then also, uh, there were just random people saying, hey, Darth Vader. And they were calling me Darth Vader. And I'm like, no, I'm Kylo Ren. So I was thinking, well, what if I tried the Rise of Skywalker look instead and see if that maybe looks better on me since I'm shorter? So I found a costumer out on uh, eBay that custom makes the costumes for not too much because you can spend a lot of money on this. So CJ Cosplay Fun 88 is who I reached out to. They did a custom uh, costume to my measurements. So everything's custom cut to me. I'm using everything they sent except the gloves and the belt. So the gloves and that belt that I bought uh, for Force Awakens, I'm keeping those. So those, those I think are better than, than theirs. The whole costume was $230. 230 bucks and of course I have my same helmet I'm not that that cost does not cover helmet doesn't cover boots my boots are still left over from Han Solo so I do not have uh, Kylo Ren boots nor am I trying to go for a 501st approval with this uh, 501st is a long ways away from me and I already have a 40 hour week job plus I do another side thing so I don't know if I have time for 501st I mean it'd be great it'd be fun but I just think it's a lot more money, a lot more time in my costume, and I'm doing this for fun. So, gonna show you the Rise of Skywalker costume. I'm already wearing the shirt, right? I'm already wearing the shirt, as you can see. It's got a zip up, it's got the pleats, it's got the little zipper on the side here. And so, I'm gonna go through and put on the vest, the cape, the, the cowl uh, stuff, the helmet, and the gloves, and the belt and show you what it looks like. All right? All right, let's go.
So as you probably saw, the neck seal doesn't even really get seen. It's the same height as the collar on this costume. I know you're supposed to wear it on the outside. You're supposed to wear it on the outside uh, for this costume, but as you can see the bottom of this bib, it goes down super far. And so that's probably longer than it should. It would cover up too much of the vest. So again, I'm not going for 501st, so I'll probably end up leaving the neck seal off. And with the neck seal off, zipped up, it looks like that. I just have this little dangly thing in the way. I don't know if I like that either. So maybe I'll have to get a neck seal for this one just to get rid of that zipper. Maybe I gotta find, I'll, I'll see if I can find one. You got a good neck seal that'll go with this that probably won't break the bank. Again, I don't have to be 501st, but uh, that would help. So that's the costume and super excited about it. Looks like I might have a couple of more tweaks to go on it before it's ready. I'm not doing uh, Kyla for Halloween, so there's no big rush. This was just a little side project thing that I was doing for fun. But uh, let me know what you think of the costume down below. And uh, may the force be with you guys. See you next time. Bye.